Dear colleagues, this is a no hydrophaco, which means hydrodissection, which is routinely done after capsulorexis, has not been done in this case. Let us see the surgical steps. By this time, main incision has been made, and this is viscoat from Alcon. I had viscoat, and I am using this in this case. Underneath this viscoat, HPMC is being used so that this viscoat goes upward and sticks to the corneal endothelium. This is modified soft shell technique. Now a side port incision is made on the right side of the main incision and another side port is made on the left side of the main incision. And now capsulorexis is to be done. I take a 26 case bend cystitum, I incise the anterior capsule and raise a capsular tag. I hold this capsular tag with the uterta forceps I make anti-clockwise move and I try to remain at equal distance from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus I manage to get a fairly round capsulorexis. That's it. Now hydrodissection will not be done, nucleus oil will not be rotated. I am just entering into the anterior chamber with the teeth of the phaco handpiece at the cystis. This is not my technique. This has been popularized by Dr. Naran Bardali at Jorhat Assam. Now, how to do it? Just watch these steps. Superficial lens matter view as we made now. This is a direct chop towards 5 o'clock. The tip is embedded deep into the substance of the nucleus and this is the first job. I remain there for some time so that the fluid goes behind and it goes over the posterior capsule towards the equator and this is a 3 o'clock job. This free nuclear fragment which is this one is removed. Now the phaco tip is turned towards 7 o'clock. And this is called 7 o'clock chop. And this free nuclear fragment is removed. By this time, enough hydrodissection has occurred naturally. Means the fluid has gone from center to periphery over the posterior capsule. So, Hydrodissection has not been done deliberately, but it has occurred naturally. This is this has been termed as natural hydrodissection by Dr. Naran Bartoli. He is a man, he's a great teacher. I respect him so much. He is founder of Chandra Prabha Eye Hospital at Jorhat Assam. So the nucleus has been removed, and now. A lot of lens matter is there in this case. I am going to use bimanual IA to remove the lens, cortical lens matter in this case. Here it is. The irrigation is from the right side port and the aspiration has gone through the left side port and most of the cortical lens matter has been removed by this time. And now the irrigation is from the right side and the aspiration is from the left side port. Now, a lot of cells are sticking to the posterior capsule. You can see in this field, the jet of fluid which comes out through the irrigating probe is used to dislodge these cells and polish the capsule. So, this is just by flashing snow suction polishing. And now, a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens is being implanted in this case. The leading haptic has gone into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is being dialed with a Sinsky hook and here it goes into the capsular bag. Now both the iris tends to prolapse to the incisions which means this mild form of fluffiness of iris in this case. The iris is reposited now the side ports are hydrated. 
the side ports are nicely hydrated so that these wounds become waterproof. And now a final wash. This is final wash with balanced salt solution from Intas Pharmaceuticals. After final wash, the anti-chamber is formed and the case is concluded. We, why should we learn this? Because in some cases, rotation, hydrogen section may not be good. If you learn this technique, you will be very confident. Thank you very much for your attention.